Okay, we're getting into some pivot pickoffs here. First one, he kind of holds on to it a little too long, but uh, everything else is very good. Good connection there. Okay, good. Good rotation. That's a good start there. If I could get good. If I could, this one's not bad. Especially, since, do you see where his elbow is here? It gets, it's very close to his body. If we can get his elbow to pull back here, again, we call that scapular separation. What we're looking for, um, let me get a different color here, is this blue distance there. We want distance there. We don't want it connected to the body too much. Uh, this is going to do a lot of positive things uh, for the pitcher. Uh, so if we can get some more separation there, that's even better. Um, let me look at the third one here. Not one, not was that one wasn't as good. Kind of slings it instead of getting through. Not bad though. Good. You see that there, there's better separation there, whether he knew he was doing it or not. Look at his elbow here, okay, and how it's. Let me clear that now, and I'll use that blue line again. There's some space. Oh, I missed. There is some space there, and that's what we want. We want some space there. You can see that little blue line I put there? Let me put an arrow right there. I put a blue line right there. We want that space. That's really good. And then, good extension there and follow. That's the best one. Good rip. You'll see how the rip comes in. It's much more forceful. One of these days, um, you know, when these things get less and less expensive, probably by the time he's 12, they'll be... 50 or 25 bucks, a little pocket radar, just to keep him accountable. Make sure that, you know, if he's hitting 40 miles an hour doing these drills over and over again, you know he's doing it right every time. But uh, that last one was a good one. Very good stuff. And that's why we like this drill so much. Like, if I were to cut his body off right here, you know, and, and move and switch his feet, this is the delivery that, that you would see from a pitcher. And that's why we like it good drive there that release right there I mean again if I could cut this if you couldn't see the bottom half I'm kinda of putting my hand over right now but realizing that that does no good for you at home that's watching this just imagine cutting everything off from here below if I could just keep cutting this off and you're not looking here if you didn't know where his legs were everything else is exactly where you would want it to be as a pitcher Okay, and that's why we do these drills. We learn these complex mechanics through tasks that they're given. And if we were to be able to take away his lower half or you wouldn't be able to see it, then, you know, that's exactly what we want. This one's definitely for the upper half. Then we have things like the push-pull or the rocker step for the uh, upper half. And that's why we do that. So, again, more progress. Good blocks being put down this week by Michael.